and today the topic of discussion is views in SQL. So what we'll study today is what is views in SQL and how we use views. Fine. Okay. So SQL views. The definition says in SQL a view is a virtual table. A view is a virtual table based on result set of SQL statement. So what you create are you create an image of a table. You create an image of a table. That table is known as a virtual table and it is known as view fine okay a view contains row and row and columns a simple like table contains row and column simply view also contain row and column so a view contains row and column just like a real table okay the field in the view are field from one or more real table in a database so a field in a view can be from one table or it can be from more than one table of a database fine okay you can add sql functions what you can do with SQL, you can add SQL function, you can where, you can use where, you can use join statement to the view. So with view, you can do everything which you are doing with table. So with view, you can use a function where, join, everything and present the data and present the data if the data were coming from one single table and it will look like that you are working on a single table. Fine. So you can do all such uh, stuffs with uh, uh, views also. So let's see the syntax. The this syntax is exactly same as creating a table okay so its syntax is just same as creating a table from a table creating a table from a table and we have already studied if you can if you see my table uh, uh, SQL video of creating a table you will find that create what we are doing creating view then view name as select as select why as select means a table is already created and now we are creating view on that table so in that case we might not want all the columns so Let's see which column we are looking for. We are looking for column 1. We are looking for column 2 dash dash from then which from which table we are creating a view and then where condition on which basis we are creating a view. Fine. Let's see the example. Example is create view. Create view v1 fine as select everything. I want every column from which table imp table where employee id is less than 4. See the answer. This is the imp table having uh, three columns employee ID, e name, and salary. And now I have created a view, v1 view, and having every column, having all the three columns, but having all those rows having, having employee ID less than four. So you can see these rows have employee ID less than four, while this table, imp table, has some IDs which are greater than four. But as we have created a view and restricted a view, so view is only having few uh, rows. Fine. Okay. You can also restrict columns also let's see okay now see the another example create view v1 as select now we have selected only two columns from which imp table so what the answer is you have created a view v1 and there are only two columns employee id and salary fine okay and there is no restriction on rows so each and every row is coming fine okay now comes very important part the important part is a view may consist of column from multiple table fine so just like a simple join what what you have studied in join so by using join you have joined more than one table and finally the answer which you are getting contains more than one more table columns of more than one table fine in a similar fashion a view can have columns from more than one table fine so a view may consist of columns from multiple tables using what using joins or just subset of column or a view may have subset of column i have just shown you before uh, this view this view is having what subset of this columns fine there are three columns and there are two columns so it can have more than column from more than one table or it can have just subset of that okay so just a subset of column of a single table fine it can have everything it, it can have column from more than one table or it can have subset of column from single table this makes views useful for abstracting or hiding complex queries so by this what you can you can abstract or hide complex queries fine okay the following picture illustrates the view that include column from multiple table so there are few tables one two and three table and you are creating a view having column from more than one table fine okay so uh, let's move ahead and see the syntax okay so uh, this we have already uh, read and now we uh, see the syntax of creating a view having multiple columns uh, okay so create view uh, view name is marks view as select student detail is one table and i'm taking name from i'm taking name column from student detail student details i'm taking address from student detail and student marks is another table i'm taking marks from that table from 
which table there are two tables student details and student marks so actually there are two tables table one and table two and from these two table what we are selecting from student details we are selecting name and address and from student marks we are selecting marks where student detail dot name is equal to student marks dot name so you must have analyzed that you have worked in a similar fashion in joins fine so similarly you are working over here so what is advantage of so you might be thinking that as we have did as we did everything in join so i will be creating a view so if you see the advantage in if you are running this query then you need to write this entire code every time are you getting if you need to run this query not this query join query if you need to run join query you need to write entire code every time every time but by creating a view you simply have to write select star from view so once you create view you can hide you can hide the complex query you need not to write the entire code every time okay fine so this is the best example which i can tell you this is the best example you need not to write uh, always the complex query no you can you can hide all those things okay let's see the advantage of views generally speaking view provide the following advantage security very important part suppose i have a table of uh, having 50 columns and there is a mobile number there is address and i don't want to share that 50 columns with everyone so i'm hi i've hired few employees so what i said what i did i have given only few uh, columns to uh, some employees so how can i give only few columns to some employee that is by using view i've created a virtual table of that my original table having 50 columns so i've created a view of three columns four columns whatever the interest was and have given a right to that particular employee so by this i can keep the security of my table so you can restrict the user to access directly the table and allow to access subset of data via views fine okay simplicity it's simple very it's simple this is why why it is simple because you hide uh, just now i've told you, you hide complex query you need not to uh, write those complex query of join every time no you can hide all those things consistency what is consistency means sometimes you write a complex formula or logic in every query to make it consistent you can hide the complex queries and views so this is what you can hide it no once views are defined fine and what is simplicity our relation database may have tables with complex relation exam one to one and make different however you can simplify the complex query join condition using views so this is same thing fine the simplicity and consistency and security these are few advantage which you can uh, make use of using views fine okay so let me run uh, and create views for you so uh, i'm discarding this and let me run the entire views for you so i'm having a table let me show you the table first uh, select star okay this is my table fine so there is three columns uh, there is, I, I'm having a table in uh, having three columns employee ID employee name and salary and there are few employees having employee ID 1 2 3 5 6 7 9 12 and 13 13 is of Joseph and one is of John okay they, they all are getting 25,000 salary you can you can create a different salary also that is not a, 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 a big issue now what we want we want to create a view so let's create a view okay uh, create a view v i e w view okay i'm creating a view let's say i'm creating v v4 i'm creating v4 view create view view name as select as s e l e c t select i want to select every column select as select star from which table about table table name a where condition where e i d e i d is less than what six so what i want i want every columns but only those employees who are having employee id less than six see this view created finally our, our virtual table is created and if you want to see the virtual table what will you do select a star from what v4 v4 and now you can see you are getting a, a v4 uh, view and there is every every all the row all the columns but only those rows which whose id is less than six fine now what i want subset of columns what if i want subset of column i don't want every column i don't want to show salary i don't want to suppose i've hired an employee and i don't want to show the salary of other employees so what i'll do i'll i only give him only two 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 columns so what i'll do i'll create a view say v5 as select not star now eid comma e name from imp from imp where no where and all from imp simply imp so what view created which view v5 created so now select everything from v5 
and now you can see now v5 has only two columns you can see the v5 has only two columns employee id and e name and I've, i have what i have not disclosed about salary and i asked him to work on this fine okay so this is what view is all about and at last what i'll say i'll only say one thing that